Well, here we have the Mark 45 Mod 4, which is the latest version of the Mark 45 gun system in service internationally, over 240 systems around the world. Um, an American developed system, but now in service with nine other nations and recently contract awarded in the UK for their Type 26 program as the new gun on there. An automated ammunition handling system is a, a recent development and this is a, a, a modular um, ammunition handling system which means that you um, require no men in the loop when the system is in operation and that is an option for a for addition to new, new um, ships, but also as an upgrade option for existing platforms as well. Potentially, uh, it could be fitted on the, the FTI frigate. If that was of interest to the, um, the French Navy, we have um, in fitted and integrated successfully um, this gun on platforms from the large destroyer cruiser size right down to small frigates. So something in the sort of 4,000 ton weight class, it's certainly possible to integrate this gun system. Current ammunition um, goes out to ranges of 24 kilometers, but in terms of the future, we have advanced ammunition, which we're working um, with the US Navy as the prime contractor at the moment, and that is the hypervelocity projectile. That is a system which has a common projectile, but can actually be saboed for a range of different platforms. So the first target is the Mark 45 Mod 4, as I've just spoken about, but also, it can be saboed for 155mm land and naval application, but also in terms of the longer term, it would be form the basis of a solution for the railgun, the electromagnetic railgun. This um, will fire out to ranges in the, in the region of 100 kilometers. You've got a common design projectile just packaged with a different sabo to integrate with a different gun system. In terms of other future developments we have within the business, we're also looking at what we've got here, which is the multi-service standard guided projectile. This is a rocket assist um, projectile designed to fire out, again out of the Mark 45 Mod 4 and is, um, it, will, it fully fits with the automated ammunition handling system I've already mentioned. So we've designed for the future with our automation. Um, this is a, a BA Systems um, IRAD private venture program at this stage, but is certainly of interest to a number of navies um, internationally. There is also the option of SABO in this system, so it can be fired out of a 155mm gun as well in land and naval environments. And this will go out to ranges again of approximately 100 kilometers. So this is a 57 Mark III gun that was developed for the Swedish Vispri class Corvette in the beginning of the 20th. So. And uh, it's uh, an all target gun, so the idea is that you can use it against any type of target. So you have air defense, surface target, but also naval gunfire support within the gun's range. Cannot compare it to a big 5 inch gun, but still uh, it can have a very good performance with it, its range. Uh, normally, you can use different types of ammunition in the gun, and that is the normal way that you have an ammunition family and you select uh, surface target ammunition against surface targets or you take an air defense ammunition if you have an air threat where you need a proximity fuse ammunition. The problem is that uh, especially when we talk about littoral warfare that the uh, time to select between different ammunition types will be extremely short. In fact there will be no time to do that so therefore we have introduced the programmable around this uh, 57 millimeter 3P ammunition. And that is programmable in six different function modes. So just uh, milliseconds before you fire the round, you will set it in the right function against that type of target. And in that way you will have a very, very high flexibility and uh, optimum effect against the target. In the gun we have 120 rounds ready to fire and we can handle two different ammunition types. If you compare this with uh, like, uh, a larger competitor like the 76, it's easy to be uh, tricked by uh, the weight of the shell for the 76 is much higher. But what you have to do is that you have to see everything. The rate of fire, the amount of explosives in th that shell, and then you can start to compare. And uh, analysis shows that if you do a comparison like that, you will end up with a much more effect from a 57mm gun compared to a 76.
Okay, so this is the latest uh, member in the gun family from uh, Bofors. It's the 40 Mark IV. So this is the, is the fourth generation of uh, 40 mm guns. And the reason why we developed this was that we realized that uh, our standard gun was uh, too expensive, too heavy, and too bulky, took too much place on the ship. Today they are requiring uh, quite heavy weapons even on small platforms. So uh, it was impossible to use the old one, so that is the main reason. Otherwise uh, this gun has the same uh, features as the 57, so we have the same kind of uh, ammunition, the 3P ammunition that is used, and that gives the gun very high flexibility like for the 57. In the gun we can handle uh, 100 rounds without uh, manual handling.